Within this lesson, we'll decompose fractions using area models to show equivalence. Use an area model to show that 3 fourths equals 6 eighths. So, we'll look at 3 fourths first. We'll draw an area model. The whole thing represents 1. So we'll divide it into 4 parts because it's 3 fourths there. So now we have fourths, right? We look, want 3 fourths, so let's shade in 3 fourths. So what we've modeled here is 3 fourths. Now we're trying to get to eighths. To go from fourths to eighths, we just draw one horizontal line. So that now we have eighths. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six eighths. So that three fourths does equal six eighths. We could write this also as three fourths equaling one eighth plus 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 one eighth, plus one eighth. or that it equals 6 times 1 eighth. Suppose we also could have decomposed it as 2 times 1 eighth plus 2 times 1 eighth plus 2 times 1 eighth. There's a number of ways that you can write that decomposition. And this would be one way as well. where we looked at four of those, and then we looked at two more of those. The shaded amounts do not change, even if I'm looking at two of those and then four of those, or if I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six. We do know that that area is the same, so that three-fourths does equal six-eighths. Here we're asked to draw an area model to show the equivalence of 2 fifths to 6 fifteenths. We'll model that first fraction there, a 2 fifths. So the whole model is 1, and we divide it into 5 parts, and we're looking at 2 of those parts, so that we've modeled 2 fifths. Now we have to get to the point where it is that we are looking at 6 fifteenths. How do we get 2 fifteenths from fifths? What do we have to do? We draw how many horizontal lines? Did you say 2? By drawing 2 horizontal lines, we've now divided this into fifteenths. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 fifteenths. We could look at this as 3 fifteenths plus 3 fifteenths to equal the 2 fifths. And remember, 2 fifths does equal 1 fifth plus 1 fifth which is the same as 3 fifteenths and 3 fifteenths. Now, we know that 2 fifths does equal 6 fifteenths. We could write that as the sum of those unit fractions. And in doing so, we know that it is 6 of those unit fractions times 1 fifteenth. 3 and 6. So we did draw that area model to show this equivalence that 2 fifths does equal 6 fifteenths. The area is the same. Here we're asked to draw horizontal lines to divide each rectangle into fractional units as indicated. Here we're looking to take this one and go 2 twelfths. First, we'll label this here 
as what? Well, the whole thing's one. We divided it into three parts. So we have thirds, and we're looking at two of those. So that's why this is two thirds there. Now, we have to draw horizontal lines. We're looking for twelfths. If we only drew one, we'd be getting into six. Well, so let's draw one first, and then we can actually draw two more so that we get twelfths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelfths. So here, then, we have two thirds, and we have to properly label it then. We have that equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 twelfths. That's right, 2 thirds equaling 8 twelfths. 2 thirds does equal 8 times 1 twelfth. Now for the second figure, we're asked to look at 18 Originally we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 5, 6, and we're trying to get to 18 How many horizontal lines do we draw? Well, if we drew 1, then we would be getting into 6 twelfths. We would have twelfths. So let's draw 2 so that we're going from 5, 6 to eighteenths. By drawing two horizontal lines, we divided that into three parts. That's why it went from 6 to 18. And as you see there, right from the figure, that means we have 15 eighteenths equaling that 5, 6, which we can write 5, 6 does equal 15 times 1 eighteenth. And let's finish labeling our figure here. So we can use area models to be able to look at fractions to be able to show equivalence. So if we, again, if we had this as 3 fourths to show our equivalence there, we can draw horizontal lines. 2, 3, 4, and in this case by drawing horizontal lines like this, we're now looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 12, 16, 20 -ths. And how many of these 20 are we looking at? How many of these 20 are we looking at? Well, we're looking at 4, 8, 12, 12 20 -ths. So that 3 fourths does equal 12 20 -ths. We were able to write that in different ways and decompose it in different ways. Here we have 4 20 -ths, 4 20 -ths, and another 4 20 -ths. So we could write that as a sum. And remember, of course, that we also can write that as that product with unit fractions of 12 times 1 20th. There's a number of different ways that we can decompose that. The reason we're showing that equivalence is they, they cover that same area. So again, keep in mind how many of those horizontal lines that you need to draw. So for instance, if we were going from 3 fourths just to 12 times 3 there, so we would only draw two horizontal lines to divide it into those three parts. Three-fourths does equal nine-twelfths.